Hello, Derek. Here we are streaming live on YouTube at the incredible Louis Vuitton Foundation for the 2021 final of the LVMH Prize. Just behind this wall is the most prestigious jury in the world who's currently discussing who will win this year's prize. Hi, Emma. I'm pleased to be here with you. And that's right, we have some of the world's greatest artistic directors just behind us. Mark Jacobs, Virgil Abloh, Stella McCartney, Maria Grazzi Churi, Jonathan Anderson. This year, for the first time, we have Kim Jones, the creative director of Fendi and the menswear designer at Dior. Joining us as every year is Delphine Arnaud, the executive vice president of Louis Vuitton, Sidney Toledano, the CEO of LVMH Foundation, the LVMH Fashion Group, and Jean-Paul Clavery, an advisor to Mr. Arnaud. That's an impressive jury. What else makes the LVMH Prize so special? Yes, so let's get into it. What is the LVMH Fashion Prize? This was established in 2013 to help young designers aged 18 to 40 from all over the world jumpstart their careers in fashion. So anyone under 40 can apply? Do you need to have studied fashion? Yes and no. Those okay. were the answers to your question in, in order. So Thank anyone you. can apply, and no, you just need to have produced two collections, no formal training necessary. Okay, so Derek, tell me about this year's competition. This year saw more than 2,000 applicants from all over the world. 20 of those were selected for the semifinal that took place digitally in April, and for the first time, the public was invited to vote alongside a panel of experts. So who are the experts? Aren't all French people fashion experts? Oh, uh, good one, good one. The, the experts are eminent fashion specialists. So there are journalists, buyers, editors, uh, Karine Reutfeld, models like Bella Hadid, actresses like Lea Seydoux, Myself, of course, I'm yeah, an expert, duh. obviously. So tell us about this year's finalists. We have nine finalists this year, and they hail from France, the United Kingdom, America, China, South Africa, for the first time, Colombia and Albania. So much talent, that's truly incredible. So what do the winners get? So today we're handing out two prizes. The first is the main prize, which is the LVMH prize, the second prize is the Karl Lagerfeld Special Jury Prize, which is a tribute to the iconic designer who was also a jury member. So what did the winners receive? Everything, everything in the world, no. They <laughs> receive 30,000 euros and 150,000 euros respectively, as well as a one-year mentorship by a team of LVMH experts, which we know is so crucial when you start a fashion label, they help with legal, production, finance, all that stuff. Totally. In addition to these two prizes, the names of the winners of the LVMH Prize for Young Fashion Graduates will be announced today. Well, you're in luck, Emma, because I'm going to ask you to tell us the names of the three Young Fashion Graduates who each spend one year working in the creative studios of the LVMH Fashion Houses. This year, over 800 hopeful students applied for this unique opportunity, and the winners are Adam Cost, a graduate of IFM who will be joining the men's studio at Louis Vuitton. Francesca Simon, a graduate of Heinrich Hein, University of Dusseldorf, who will be joining the men's studio at Dior. And last but not least, Eric Stark, a graduate of Iowa University of Venice. Is that how you say that? who will be joining the women's studio Dior. In addition to this amazing opportunity, each winner and their schools will receive 10,000 euros. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to all three of those incredible and worthwhile students. And thank you, Emma, for that brilliant pronunciation. I, <laughs> nobody this. teaches you this stuff. I only know how to speak English, but anyways. <laughs> um, Derek, do you have any idea, Derek, do you have any idea about who is gonna win this prize this year? I have no clue. But I can see that the jury is starting to filter back in here. They must have finished their voting. So we are still live on YouTube, and all this will happen in front of your eyes. Wow! I can't wait to find out who won. Win God damn it. I can't wait to find out who wins. We'll be back in a couple minutes. Give us a second to set everything up, and stay tuned for the winner of this year's LVMH Fashion Prize. See you soon. Thank you for being here for the LVMH Prize 2021. Thank you for participating and for coming here to uh, the Louis Vuitton Foundation. Are we going? This is a... Oh, bonjour. <laughs>
Hi, Delphine. It's so lovely to see you again. Hi, Derek. Hi, Emma. How are you both? I'm very happy to welcome you to the Louis Vuitton Foundation. Thank you. We're super excited. I think you're about to announce the winner of this year's prizes. Yes, and I would like to express my deepest gratitude to all the members of the jury for their priceless involvement. The LVMH Prize embodies the commitment of the, groups, the group towards creativity and entrepreneurship. Now more than ever, young talents represent the future of fashion. I see, Delphine, that you have a very special guest this year. Yes, I'm delighted to welcome Isabelle Huppert, one of our greatest actresses who, like the young designers here today, has taken risks throughout a career driven by creativity. Thank you very much, Isabelle, for honoring us with your presence. In addition to being a tremendous artist, Isabelle is also a fashion icon. Hello, Delphine. Thank you so much for inviting me. I'm very happy to be here, especially on this special occasion. I feel honored to be involved in such a prominent event. Isabelle, will you please announce the name of the winner of the Lagerfeld Prize? With pleasure. This year, the winner are the winners <laughs> of the Karl Lagerfeld Prize. So the winners are Kit Super. The second winner is oh, um. Lokanyu Mingi. And the third winner is Rue. So th this year, the competition was, um, the, the designers were so talented that we decided to have three winners of the Karl Lagerfeld Prize. So congratulations to the three of you. If you want to say a few words, <laughs> if, you, if you want to say a few words. Wow, um, this is amazing. Um, I'm excited. I think I just found a video of me when I was 15 uh, in my high school cafeteria selling t-shirts. And it was after my first drop of t-shirt, one t-shirt. And I remember saying, like, I can't believe how far we've gotten from our doodles on the desk to now one t-shirt. We're fucking awesome. <laughs> and now, 10 years later, we're here, so we really are fucking awesome. Uh, I hope the uh, jury and um, the mentorship starts tonight, because I think we're going dancing, right, Delphine? <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I'm incredibly honored to be here and to take on this prize and to celebrate everything that um, our label has to offer. I've always believed that the power of a collective is far greater than that of a singular. And I think um, this prize is testament to that. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to, to know this news because it's, it's really unexpected and I didn't prepare for anything for it. But I'm from China. and. Uh, I'm really excited to be here and to pre prepare for everything for it. And uh, I hope I can like develop more uh, based on this like this prize. And uh, thank you so much. Yeah. Congratulations to the three of you. And now, Isabelle, would you please reveal the name of the winner of the LVMH Prize? So I'm honored to hand out this prize, which is a symbol of hope for the young designers present here and more broadly speaking for fashion. So the 2021 LVMH Prize for Young Fashion Designers goes to the winner, <laughs> Nancy. 
Dojeka. I'm very emotional right now. I, I don't know what to say, and I feel very honored. Take your mask off. Take your mask off. <laughs> <laughs> that all of you guys are here, and all the amazing talented designers. <laughs> so, I, Congratulations. I would like to thank Isabelle once more for her presence today, as well as Derek and Emma for hosting the ceremony. I would also like to thank Jean-Paul Claverie for his continued commitment and the experts of the prize who contributed to its success. I'm especially thankful to all the jury members and the designers who managed to come here today. It's a tremendous effort for all those who traveled and quarantined. I would like to express my warmest gratitude to them. Thank you all for your support, and we will meet again next year for the ninth edition of the prize. <laughs>